Hi, my name's Karen. I'm a wedding photographer based in Manchester and I've put this little video together to show you how to repair the hot shoe on your Canon 5D Mark II. Now, if you're like me and you shoot a load of weddings and your flash spends hours on end on your camera, then the chances are you've experienced your hot shoe working loose. Um, often this can show in photos before you notice it on your camera. So you might notice a couple of missed shots here or there where your flash hasn't fired. Um, and it's not always a recycle time, you know, sometimes it can be that those connectors are not tight enough together. So the thing is, I used to send my camera away to get repaired. Um, and you know what it's like when your kit's away from getting repaired. It's just expensive, it's time consuming, especially if you've got to hire replacement bodies as well. It's just really inconvenient. So the thing is, this is ridiculously easy to fix. It is literally a screwdriver and a pair of tweezers. Um, and it's the sort of thing you could even do at a wedding, you know, so there wouldn't be the inconvenience of having to maybe just use one or two camera bodies, depending on how many you normally shoot with. You know, I usually keep my screwdriver set and my tweezers in my car now, so it's just really convenient. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, exhibit A first. Um, this is my camera. So as you can see, Get a little bit closer. Pretty loose hot shoe, so it's um, definitely needs repaired. But I have shot about 30 weddings since um, April to August, and this is the beginning of September, so it's kind of to be expected, really. So um, we've got the flash off the camera now, and you'll notice if you look at the hot shoe that there's a solid kind of um, silver plate. Now underneath that you've got a few screws, okay, and we're going to tighten those screws. Now um, all you need really is a, a small pair of tweezers, okay, um, and I have a set of um, small screwdrivers, um, but you really just need the PH000 to repair this. So what we're going to do first is take the hot shoe off. Um, now it is just the top part that we're taking off with the tweezers and there's a couple of little hooks so it's a bit fiddly um, but it's just a case of wiggling it about a little bit and just gently removing it. So tweezers under the bit at the front there if you can just see that and then we're going to lift it off Oh, um, and then you should be able to remove that with your fingers. Okay, so you just want to be kind of lifting off the the bit at the top at the front. There we go. So underneath you'll see there's some screws and we're just going to tighten those with our PH triple zero screwdriver. So actually, one of the screws had totally come out, so not surprised it was loose. Now, if the camera is a few years old, um, you can have a bit of a problem where the the screws can kind of get a little bit threaded, and you might actually need the top replaced. But that's quite unlikely. To be honest, this has been round the clock like twice, and I've still not done it on this camera yet. Um, but I have experienced that on an older camera, so it's not out of the realms of possibility. But it's still worth checking that you can tighten it yourself first before you you pay for an expensive repair. So screw number three. So when we put this back together, you'll notice this um, has a couple of little hook things. So you want to make sure that it does actually um, sit flush um, with the back of the camera when you put it in. So it is a little bit fiddly to do, but don't panic if you can't get it in initially. I, I usually find just kind of having a little bit of a play about with it. Um, but I'm just going to put that back for you just now and I'll show you how to do it. So you kind of want to help if I got it the right way first. Oh, hang on a second. So it's going back in this way so that it fits over.
You usually get it so far and we want to make sure that this um, side is pressed down so that it's it fits snug over these edges. Um, actually, you know, that's just popped back into place. It never goes in that easy, like ever. <laughs> so um, as you can see, that's ridiculously easy and I have paid about £60 plus VAT to have that repaired before. You know, the screwdriver is like five quid, seriously. Um, uh, the set was only a few pounds and it's also got the screwdriver in it to repair an iPhone, so what's not to like. Cool, so um, I hope next time that happens you will be repairing it yourself and not sending it off for an expensive repair um, and that it will be more convenient sort of knowing how to do it yourself.